Welcome. In this video, we're going to do a solo playthrough of Marvel Champions of Card Game with Captain America and Miss Marvel taking on Green Goblin. All right, so down at the table, we've got everything set up. Got our two heroes, Captain America and Miss Marvel. I'm just using the pre-constructed decks. So if you want to know each of the cards in each of these, you can check out the unboxing video for those. Our main scheme, we've got a hostile takeover. So... Norman Osborn 1 and 2, using Risky Business in the standard encounter sets, and we've included Goblin Gimmicks. Set up, put the Criminal Enterprise environment into play, shuffle the encounter deck, and advance to 1B. So we're going to have a threshold of 7 per player, so 14 threat. We're going to start with 4 threat in play, 2 per player. And when completed, place 1 per player infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise, then discard one card from each player's deck for each infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise. So there's our threat. For Criminal Enterprise, enters play with 2 per player infamy counters on it. So we'll put 4 tokens there. If there are no infamy counters here, flip Norman Osborn and Criminal Enterprise. So then it becomes State of Madness. Comes in with two per player Madness counters on it. There are no Madness counters here. We flip Green Goblin and State of Madness. So between our environment and our villain, we're going to be flipping these depending on what's going on. Starting with Norman, scheming for two when he attacks. See, when Norman Osborn would attack, place an infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise instead. And when he would take any amount of damage, remove that many infamy counters from Criminal Enterprise instead. So we're not going to be taking down his base health until we can flip him over to Green Goblin. Who has an attack of three. When revealed, deal three indirect damage to each player in hero form. And when he would scheme, remove one Madness counter from State of Madness instead. So go ahead and give our encounter deck another shuffle, along with our hero decks and Miss Marvels. So both our heroes in alter ego form have hand size of six, and in their hero form, five. 11 hit points for Cap, and 10 for Miss Marvel. So our initial hand, So we've got two, and Avengers symbol, honorary Avenger, strength in numbers, Captain America's helmet, and two fearless determinations. I think we're gonna pitch these two and find Mockingbird and a heroic strike. And of course we have set up, search our deck and discard pile for Captain America's shield upgrade and add it to our hand and shuffle our deck. And our 11 Living Legend ability, reduce the cost of the first ally played each round by one. So we get to go looking for our shield. So then add that to our hand and shuffle our deck. And then get six cards for Miss Marvel. So we've got our Polymer Suit, Enhanced Reflexes, Energy, Nakia, Energy Barrier, and Enhanced Reflexes. I think I'll discard those two for the mulligan. Get another Energy Barrier and a Red Dagger. And we'll go ahead and get started. So with his ability, Mockingbird's going to cost us two. So we'll pay these two to bring her in. And after she enters play, we stun an enemy. Then we're gonna go ahead and flip over to Captain America's side. Then we're gonna make an honorary Avenger. Play only if your identity has the Avenger trait, which we now do. Attach to a friendly character. Attached character gets plus one hit point and gains the Avenger trait. So we're gonna make Miss Marvel an honorary Avenger and give her plus one health. Then we're going to put Cap's shield in play using his helmet to pay for it. He's going to swing for two, take two counters off there, discard a card to ready him, 
Swing for another two. So now since there's no counters on here, we'll flip over and bring in four Madness counters. Along with flipping Norman Osborn, he's going to win reveal, deal three indirect damage to each player in hero form. We're gonna put one on Mockingbird and then he'll take the other two going down to nine. Then we'll have Mockingbird do one damage to Green Goblin. Taking a consequential damage herself. And that's gonna be it for Cap. Starting off with Miss Marvel, we're gonna use her special ability. Discard cards from the top of her deck until you discard a Miss Marvel card, then add that card to your hand. So tackle Wiggle Room. So add that to her hand. We'll go ahead and play this for a cost of one. We'll pay that upgrade for it. So we can exhaust her to reduce the cost of the next card. You play this phase by one. So we'll go ahead and use that to bring in this for free. So this is a hero resource. Exhaust it to generate a wild resource for an event. Then we're gonna bring in the red dagger with these three resources. So when he is defeated, we'll spend two resources of different types to deal two damage to an enemy and return him to our hand. But we're just gonna have him swing for two damage. Down to 25 and take a damage himself. I'll go ahead and flip her over and have her swing for one. So down to 24. So that's gonna end our actions. So five cards for Cap. So Super Soldier Serum, Heroic Strike, another Honorary Avenger, Shield Toss, and the Power of Leadership. Already cards there. A little early, but drawing four more for her. So we've got Tackle, Lockjaw, Energy Barrier, and Wiggle Room. So first thing's gonna happen, we're gonna add Two threats over here, the villain phase. Green Goblin's gonna to attempt to attack Captain America, but he's stunned. But he will attack Miss Marvel. So she'll stay like that. So base three plus another two. So five damage coming her way. She's gonna play Wiggle Room. So when you would take any amount of damage, prevent three of that and draw a card. So she'll take two damage down to nine and draw a card, getting strength. Then we get some encounter cards. So for Cap, regenerative healing, villain heals X damage where X is equal to double the villain stage number. No damage was held this way, this card gains surge. So we're in stage one, so he's gonna heal two. From 24 to 26. And for Miss Marvel, caught off guard. When revealed, discard an upgrade or support you control. No cards were discarded this way. This card gains Surge. So, let's see here. We'll get rid of Nakia. And change first player and start round two. All right, we're gonna play Tackle using Strength and our Polymer Suit. So this is an event. So that's our three resources. We'll stun an enemy. And since we used Hulk, we definitely have the physical resources. So we'll deal three damage to that enemy. So down to 23. We'll then play Energy Barrier with two resources. That's gonna come into play with three counters when we would take any amount of damage, remove one reflection counter from here, prevent one of that damage, and deal one damage to an enemy. Then we'll have Red Dagger swing for two. And Miss Marvel will thwart for one. 
Then we're going to have Cap Swing using a Heroic Strike. So deal six damage to an enemy. If you paid for this card using a physical resource, stun that enemy. I mean, we're paying it, but he's already stunned, so he can't be double stunned. But six damage is good enough. So he'll go down to 15 health. Then we're going to swing for two more, taking him down to lucky 13. We're going to stop there. Each will be drawing up to five. So we've got Tackle, Embiggen, Endurance, Big Hands, and Sneak By for Miss Marvel. And for Cap, we kept the Serum. So Wonder Man, Steve's Apartment, Genius, and the Quinjet. The Villain Phase. Scheme goes from five to seven. Green Goblins wants to attack Miss Marvel. He's stunned, nothing happens. Captain America gets attacked. He'll let it come through. So base three plus nothing. So three damage coming through. He's got a shield, so retaliate of one. Then encounter cards for Miss Marvel. We've got the Goblin Glider. So attached to an enemy with the highest printed hit points and without another Goblin Glider attached. If you cannot, this card gains Surge. It's a hero action. We can spend two energy resources to discard this card. So it's going to give him plus one attack. And then for Captain, we've got a Private Security Specialist. So it's going to be Guard with four health. And we'll move first player. We're going to bring in our Super Soldier Serum, so we can exhaust this to generate a physical resource. We're going to use our Genius for that. We're going to use this to generate a resource to bring in Steve's apartment. We'll go ahead and swing for two into the Security Specialist. We'll pitch a card to ready. We're going to go ahead and flip over. We're going to recover three, going up to nine. Then we're going to use our apartment, Alter Ego action, exhaust this card, the draw card, and heal a damage. So up to 10, and drawing a card, getting a Quinjet. So we're going to play a Quinjet using a Quinjet as a resource. Then as a hero action, we're going to spend two energy resources to get rid of the Goblin Glider. Then we're going to have Red Dagger go into here for, to kill him off for two damage, and that's going to put his third damage on him. Then we're going to interrupt that to spend two different resources to deal two damage to an enemy and return him to our hand. So taking Green Goblin down to 10. Then we're going to play Big Hands, spending two resources one being from our suit, and the other one being the red dagger to deal four damage to an enemy. Taking him down to six. And we'll go ahead and use her ability to bring this back to her hand. And we're going to go ahead and flip over to her, her other side and end her turn. So each will be drawing up to six. So we've got two Avengers Assemble, Heroic Strike, Shield Block, Avengers Tower, and another Serum. And for Miss Marvel, she's already got one card. So another Sneak By, Hands Reflexes, Preemptive Strike, Power Protection, and Get Behind Me. Start of the Villain Phase. We'll go from seven to nine on our scheme here. So Goblin Wood scheme, so remove a madness from him instead. Same thing over here. Everyone gets an encounter card. So Mad Genius, when revealed in Green Goblin mode, attacks a hero with the fewest hit points remaining. If no attack was made this way, this card gains Surge. So we'll go with the Surge. All in a day's work. Place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise. 
You cannot remove two madness counters from State of Madness. So we'll remove that. Flip these cards over. So Norman's back. Criminal Enterprise gets four tokens. And then, uh oh, Obligation, Home by Dawn. So give to Miss Marvel. We can exhaust her to remove this from the game or discard a Persona support. So we'll just exhaust her to remove this card from the game. And pass first player. Start of Steve Rogers' turn, the Quinjet gets a token. So we'll go ahead and play Avengers Tower. Each of your allies has the Avenger trait. Increase your ally limit by one. As an action, we can exhaust this to reduce the cost of the next Avenger ally played this phase by one. So we'll spend those two cards to do it. Steve is going to use his apartment to draw a card and heal. So getting Honorary Avenger goes up to 11 health. We'll go ahead and flip over. We're going to play Heroic Strike. Paying for it with these two resources and our Super Soldier Serum. So we're definitely playing a physical resource, so we'll deal six damage and stun an enemy. So here's the stun, and instead of six, we're just dealing four. Flipping our cards over. So when revealed, three and direct Three indirect damage to each player in hero form, which is just cat, so he'll go down to eight. And four counters back on State of Madness. And he will swing for two. Then we'll discard a card to have Captain America ready, and then he's going to thwart for two. Now for Miss... Marvel. She's going to use her ability to find one of her Miss Marvel cards. So we find Amir. She's going to flip over. Then we're going to use big hands with this and our suit to deal four damage, which is going to end Green Goblin in his first version. So that card will go away. New one comes in. So deal four and direct damage to each player. So Miss Marvel goes down to five. Actually, she's going to go down to six. We're going to use this to prevent one and send one damage to Green Goblin. So he's coming in with 36, so he'll have 35. The cap is taken four, so he's down to four. Then we're going to go ahead and play Sneak By, Hero Action, Remove Three Threat from a Scheme, paying these two resources. And I think that's all the damage we can cause this turn. So we'll draw up to five. So we're going to keep these two, three, four, and five, getting Nova, Preemptive Strike, and another Genius. And Cap will be going up to five cards. Getting a Quinjet, Energy, Strength, Shield Toss, and Make the Call. So first attack from Green Goblin, stun, nothing happens. Second attack, will be base four plus one boost. Captain has four health, Mockingbird's gonna jump in the way. So four damage, more than enough to take her out. I always forget to add my thread at the right time. But there that is. Now we're in counter cards. So first, all in a day's work. Place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise. If you cannot, remove two madness from state. And then here, Shadow of the Past. So treachery card, when revealed, something we always hate to see here. Reveal your set-aside nemesis minion, put it into play, engage with you. Reveal your 
Nemesis side scheme, put it into play, shuffle the rest of your Nemesis encounter set into the encounter deck. And if your Nemesis minion does not enter the game this way, this card gains Surge. Thank goodness for Get Behind Me. This is a hero interrupt. We are in hero form. When a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its when revealed effects. The villain attacks you instead. So we're going to pay with that with a preemptive strike. I hope that's worth it. So he's attacking us over here. So we're jumping in a way to save Captain America's day. So it's going to be a base four plus nothing. Villain heals two damage. But he can only heal one, so he's up to 36. So four is going to come through. We're going to block one of it. So we're taking three. We're blocking one to deal one down to 35. I was hoping to see three boosts come up so we can hit him harder. Didn't happen. Oh well. So pass first player token. So Captain America's turn. He's going to start with the shield toss. So discard X cards from hand. We're going to discard one. Then return Captain America's shield from play to your hand. Deal four damage to one enemy since we discarded one card. So we hit Goblin in the head with her shield. Then we're going to use this to put her shield back in play. And I want to look in her discard piles. We might be making a call to somebody. So I've got Mockingbird in there. Wonder Man. What do we have over here? Red Dagger's always good. Lockjaw can already be played from the discard pile by someone else. So it's either going to be Red Dagger. I think we'll go with the stun. No, Red Dagger's way better. I keep talking out myself. All right, making the call, spending four resources. Red Dagger comes over to join us. We did add one to our Quinjet at the beginning of our turn. I'll swing to do two damage on Green Goblin, down to 29. We're going to flip over and recover three, going up to seven. Then we're going to draw a card and heal another damage, going up to eight health. Finding Agent 13, and that's going to work out for us. So reduce the cost of the first ally played each round by one. So since he just turned over, we'll reduce that by one. Quinjet drops her off. Remove two from the scheme. And then she'll go ahead and thwart for two. Then Miss Marvel does not feel well. She's gonna flip over and recover five health, going up to eight. Then she's going to use her ability to get Bruno. And then to pay the cost for Nova for four, we're going to spend these four resources. So when an enemy in initiates an attack against you, spend a energy resource, deal two damage to that enemy. So he'll come in and swing for two damage. Down to 27 health. That's going to be all we can do on our turn. Steve Rogers drawing up to six cards. So strength in numbers, power of leadership, the shield block, squirrel girl, and some more strength in numbers. And then Miss Marvel will get six cards. So big hands, more big hands, shrink, preemptive strike, power protection, and sneak by. Start 
or the villain phase. Take that from two to four threat. Green Goblin's going to scheme here and also here. So everything flips. Yep, just one Madness counter. Now we're going to get some encounter cards. So Norman gets himself a Goblin Glider. And Kamala is going to gain Surge. So getting Intimidation. Choose to either spend two resources of any type or the villain one face down boost card. I think we'll spend two resources there. Change first player. Could be dangerous, but we're gonna go drawing for a Miss Marvel card. And not find any. So we're gonna get an encounter card. Unfortunately, since we were discarding cards, we will not keep discarding. We'll stop that. We'll go ahead and flip over. We're going to play big hands using one of those resources and shrink for the second to deal four damage. Down to 23. Then we're going to use her ability to get big hands back. Then play it again with these two resources for another four damage. So down to 19. Then Nova's going to jump in for two damage. Oops. Take this back a step. So it should be up to 27. First four damage would have removed this. Flipped all this over, dealing four indirect damage to everybody. Poor Steve is going to go down to... Actually, we'll put two there. He'll take two this way. But Miss Marvel will be taking three. And removing this to not take one. And transfer one over. Sorry for that mistake. Got a little excited. And then for the second time, I played Big Hands. That would actually put four on here. So down to 22. So I think that got us back into play. So now with his attack for two more damage, down to 20. With another damage on him. On to Steve Rogers' turn. First ally we play is reduced by one. It's an Avenger, reduce it by another one. We'll bring in Squirrel Girl for free. So when she enters play, deal one damage to each enemy. So down to 19. Squirrel Girl will swing for one. Down to 18. Look through my discard pile again. I think we want Wonder Man. I've got Make the Call again. So I pay the printed cost of an ally in any player's discard pile. Put that ally into play under your control using the power of leadership. So this account is two resources to bring Wonder Man in play. Your normal ally limit is three, but thanks to our tower, we increase it by one so we can have four in play. So we'll bring him in. We're gonna flip on over. We'll have him swing for two, so down to 16. We'll discard a card to ready him, have him swing for two again, down to 14. Gonna have Wonder Man attack. Must discard a card for him to do that. So that's gonna do three damage, down to 11. And Red Dagger will have him attack, sacrifice for two more damage. Down to nine. 
But we do not have the two resources, so he'll go, well, actually we do. So go ahead and spin that resource and shield block to return him to our hand, deal two damage to an enemy. So down to seven. Should have used my apartment before I flipped, but oh well. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. Miss Marvel's gonna draw up to six, oh sorry, five. Getting a sneak by, enhanced reflexes, power protection, get behind me, and strength. And then Cap is gonna draw up to five. We already have one in hand, which we're gonna go ahead and discard. So we'll draw five cards, getting two, which will get us an encounter card. So we've got Hawkeye and Falcon, and we'll shuffle and draw three more. All right, three more cards. Shield block, genius, and Avengers assemble. So we are done. Villain, going from four to six. So these are encounter cards. Step those aside. Green Goblin is going to initiate an attack against Miss Marvel. So Nova has an interrupt when an enemy initiates an attack against you. Spend a energy resource to deal two damage to that enemy. So we're gonna take him down to five. And then Squirrel Girl is gonna say, I'll protect you. So we've got a base four, five. All right, so boost, place one infamy counter. If you cannot remove a madness, so we will remove a madness. And Squirrel Girl has been sacrificed. Then Goblin is coming after Captain America. He is gonna stand there with the shield proudly in hand and take it. So four, five, six plus a boost, place an infamy counter on criminal enterprise. If you cannot, remove a madness counter. So removing a madness. So six damage, but we're gonna interrupt when you would take any amount of damage, exhaust Captain America's shield, prevent all of that damage. Now everyone gets another encounter card. So first for Miss Marvel. So when revealed in Green Goblin, attacks a hero with the fewest hit points remaining. No attack was made. This way, card gains Surge. Oh, and I forgot since he did that. Retaliate one. Lots of things to have to remember in this game. So at least health. It's Miss Marvel. Attack coming from Green Goblin. So initiating an attack. We've got a wild that we're gonna spend for lightning to deal two damage back. And then Agent 13 is gonna jump in the way from four, five, six. Place an infamy counter if you cannot, remove a madness. So Agent 13 is down. Next, Collapsing Bridge. So it comes in with four threat on it. Skip the boost part. So on the Captain America's encounter cards, private security specialist with guard, and the villain schemes, which would flip him over, which we do not want. So, Miss Marvel, hero interrupt. She's gonna cancel the win revealed effect. The villain attacks her instead. So attacking Miss Marvel. Be nice if I had a resource for this to kill him by that, but I don't. So either way, Wonder Man will jump in in front of this attack. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that didn't work after all. Wonder Man is dead from that attack. So since we cannot remove a madness counter, and everyone flips over. Four tokens over here. We'll change first player. 
And it's on Captain America. See if they can finish it this round. So they need to do four damage here. Flip it over. They're going to take four damage from everyone and then deal two more. So we're going to exhaust Avengers Tower. Reduce the cost of the next Avenger. Avenger ally played this turn by one. Then we're going to bring Falcon into play. Minus one for this. There's another one. Genius. So he came in. So after he comes into play, look at the top three cards. Move a threat for each treachery. There's one. He's going to swing for two damage. Cap is going to swing for two damage. Except all that damage is going on this guy here. So the security guard is gone. We're going to ready Cap so he can attack again for two. Then we're going to have Cap flip over. Use his ability to heal one up to seven and draw a card. Getting his shield toss. Nova is going to swing for two. Which is going to take him out. But it will flip all this over. So four tokens there. Four indirect damage. She's going down to one health. Steve is going to go down to three health. This Marvel is going to flip over and recover for five, going up to six. That will end our turn. So six cards for each. We're going to discard Hawkeye there and draw up. So two, three, four, five, and six. Getting Mockingbird, Quinjet, Fearless Determination, Strength in Numbers, and Honorary Avenger. And for Miss Marvel, getting Tackle, Energy Barrier, Genius, Energy, and Tackle. So start of the villain phase, going from six to eight threat. Goblin's going to scheme here, can't. Remove a Madness, scheme over here. Remove a Madness. Encounter cards. So we've got a hired gun. When revealed, choose to either give the villain one face down boost card or place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise. So he's getting a boost card. And we have a hired gun. Intimidation. Choose to either spend two resources of any type or give the villain one face down boost card. I think we're going to kill him this turn, so he's getting another boost card. So that went by quick. On her turn, she is just going to flip over and perform a tackle for the win. So as a hero action, stun an enemy. If you pay for this card using a physical resource, deal three damage to that enemy. We're going to use the Hulk and the others for three damage. And that will... Defeat Green Goblin. So I know I had to backtrack on a couple of things, but I think that played out the way it should have. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.